Alright guys, since I've been on a video making roll lately, I decided I might as well make a, another video about something retro before I get on to something new. <clears throat> anyway, um, this is the Dimension 4100 that you guys watched me restore on a live stream. Now, this thing is in immaculate condition, literally, it is, it might come up a little gray on, or, uh, beige on, or, you know, like, tan on camera, but this thing, it's white. I've cleaned it so well with some simple green and whatnot. But, uh, we're about to make my last down, or upgrade, to a, make it a little bit more vintage feeling. We're gonna be ripping this out. This is the, uh, wait, 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 okay. Yeah, this is the, uh, Sound Blaster Live. We're gonna be pulling this out, putting a, uh, Turtle Beach Montega in it. I'm be ripping out this uh, MX420 and be throwing a uh, Riva TNT2 in it. All that stuff's up in this box up here, so let me go see what exactly I have and I'll be right back. Alright, this is more like it. Let's take a look. Um, what kinds are there in here? Video card wise, that is. Oh, I see the Montega. Here we go. Oop, let me just. Yeah, there's the baby right there. Great. Alright, what kinds of cards do we have here? Here's a... Ugh, S3, get that out of here. That belongs nowhere near my vintage machines. So it appears that these are the only two vintage cards I have. Ooh! Might end up using either that or what's this? Ooh, it's gonna be a hard tie between these two. TNT2 Vanta or this, which is a, uh, I believe this is a Riva TNT. This would be a little bit better for the nostalgia factor, but, hmm, I don't know. Peel this sticker off it because this came out of an HP and I don't really want to have that display sticker on the back. Yeah, I'll get that residue off some other time. Ah, uh, what should I go for? Ugh. I'm kind of feeling this, but it doesn't have a heat sink on it. So uh, this does. It has a nice little heat sink on it. Alright, I'm going with this, I guess. Why not? If it doesn't seem to work out too well, I'll put that in. So, um, let me just... Some one-handed screwdriver work here, guys. Now, the MX420 certainly has higher performance than any of these cards here, but, uh, except the one in there, it's an MX440, but, uh, it's like putting a, uh, Titan in a Pentium 4, you know, it just, eh, it's, it's not exactly like that, but still, it just doesn't feel exactly right, you know, because it's just an age difference that shouldn't really be there, in my opinion. But who knows, someday I might install that again whenever I want to start playing some other games on here. All I really play on here now is Quake 3. Just for the nostalgia factor, but anyway. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's quite snazzy. Let me pull out this. The other two cards I have in here are Ethernet and um, USB. So there's the Sound Blaster Live card. It's a good card, but uh, hey, hey. I'm kind of debating on whether to put it in there or keep it in here. You know what? It is going in here. I don't even know why I thought that. There we go. Now that is good.
Now while I got this box down, are there any other cards that are worth my while putting in? Hey, bother. Alright guys, so, uh, yeah, this is the completed G or, uh, Dimension 4100. We have the, uh, 2 gigs of RAM. I mean, <laughs> 512 megs of RAM. Pentium 3 866, which soon may go to a gigahertz if I ever have some extra money to blow on a CPU for this thing. But, uh, yeah. Montega 2 and whatnot, so, uh, nice little assortment of upgrades, so, um, Talk to you guys later. See you guys. You wait, no, you know what, before I leave, let's go ahead and put this bar on and see what that video card looks like up against the bar. If I can. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I'd say. It's a little bit longer than the MX422. Here it is compared with that card, but uh, anyway, guys. Alright, talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day, everyone, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So, talk to you guys later. See ya.